We're here with Kenny Bennett. You seem to have the winning attitude of a uh, top flight cornerback. So just bring it on and we'll see what happens next. Does that fit you? I mean, I wear a 24 and I wear that for Kobe Bryant. That's With the mindset of, you know, getting us better every day, you know, hits and kicks us philosophy on defense, you know, just, just having that dog mentality, just bringing that attitude and that grit to the defense, you know, like just, just ensuring that in every meeting we up, and still be time, still he'll be talking like this, and then he'll go into like a shower like this with a lot of course, but, you know, just having that energy every day. Thank you for not shouting me right there, <laughs> too. How pumped are you for uh, West Virginia just around the corner, being able to come out through the tunnel? Fans in the stands, you can smell the badly fried food from the concourse. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Like, they're in our schedule, so we, September, what, 4th, correct? Mm -hmm. We want to see what they're about, so let's go. What's kind of interesting this year is you guys have non-conference games. Last year, no conference games. It's kind of a nice preparation, as it were, for the Big Ten, because the focus mm -hmm. is to win the Big Ten. It's nice to have a couple of tests before, as opposed to jumping right into the league like you did in 2020. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, yeah. But how do I, I mean, it's, I mean, we ain't we ain't really worried about who we play. Like, if we if we got jump right in and play the best team in the Big Ten, we gonna do that. If that's week one, week whatever. Like, okay, we get two out of conference games. Let's put it on our schedule, and we we gonna we gonna handle them. And after we handle them, we gonna go to the Big Ten. We gonna handle them. So that's how that's gonna go. Kenny, thank you, and stay healthy. And that's Dave Preston over there. He's part of our shot. The WTO, the Dave Preston. Dave Preston. Are you guys are you guys with the yak attack or the jabber jocks today? Uh, yeah. uh, Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner with Turp Talk. We're here with Kenny Bennett. You seem to have the winning attitude of a uh, top flight cornerback. So just bring it on and we'll see what happens next. Does that fit you? I mean, I wear a 24 and I wear that for Kobe Bryant. That's been my idol since I started playing sports. And I really just do my best to, you know, take his mentality to this game. You know, even though it's different sports, it's, 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 it's the same thing. You know, work hard, don't be outworked. And whoever, and whoever it is in front of you, we just be going to go at him. We ain't holding nothing back. It's, it's us versus you. It'll be like us at the time. What's Kenny different on The defensive backfield, the whole secondary. It's special. There's no doubt about it. Very special. Very special. You feel that now? In other words, last year it kind of became special, and now it's almost like it's elite for college. It was, it was special the minute, the minute I saw those guys perform in camp before everything got shut down. And stuff. I've, been, I've always seen the potential that that his room has. And then the, the few games that we played, that's just what we could do. A little bit of what we could do. And now we got uh, four schedules. Like, so, right, then you take the success of the DBs have had the next level, and that tradition is carried on. You, you guys have made it or stepped it up a little bit. And uh, there's a lot that goes with that. There, there's expectations, there's right? Well, right. oh, there are. I mean, the, from the second half of that Minnesota game that was here, through the rest of that, it, it was a defense to watch. The defense was as exciting as the offense. What happened at halftime in that Minnesota game that changed the philosophy? Um, everybody just, we just locked in. We just locked in and said, okay, like, we, we, got, we, we, got, we got it really fast. We came back, okay, cool, let's lock back in, let's finish this game. That's all it is to it. When, when the Ravens drafted yeah, Rashad Bateman, I thought to myself, yeah, you have such a great game against the Wonder. I mean, well, I ain't I mean, that's, congratulations to him for getting drafted because he, he at where I want to be at, but I mean, at the end of the day, one, one game ain't going right. and we're going to determine if he gets drafted or not. As we all saw that year, he had a great year that year. And the year before that, he had a great career at Minnesota. So that's probably for him. It is what it is. Yeah. We saw the number. Well, I, I, it seems like it might be Maryland's turn. We, I went to that Minnesota game up there. That wasn't so nice. Uh, half of it down here wasn't so nice. And all of a sudden, that potential, that word that Loxley uses, you could see it. Do you feel like this is your time? It is. We've, we've, been, we've been through the most from... Personally, I've been here since 2017, so multiple coaching changes. Unfortunately, I lost a teammate, so and then just like all of that is just I use. I like to use. You write a book. Yeah, that and I like to like use an analogy of like a bow and arrow. Like you know, like everything, everything in life would just draw you back, draw you back, draw you back, and when it's time. 
And when it's time for that, for, for you to let go of that arrow going shoot straight, you want to go as far as you can. So it's, it's our turn, you know, like we, everybody doing, like from, from, from the day, from the first day I've been here, the one thing that I've noticed changed is like the, the teammate to teammate accountability. So like it's not really too much of coaches reprimanding us, we reprimanding each other. If somebody late, be like, yo, why you late? You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, that's that's important because it's like, it shows that we want it and it's not just the coaches that want it because I mean, coaches going to want it. They going, they, they, that's their job to win. That's their job to, you know, make sure we're better. But when like, when the players and the people in that locker room like really believing and buying into everything that, that, that our coaches Speaking on it, we acting on that, and that's when you know you're working. Right. All right, yeah. it's a real leader here. Right. This is here that. right. So, does any of you got to stick around to get the new locker room facilities? <laughs> the new facilities over at Cole. Oh yeah, they all that. They all that. You know, way better than way better than gospel. Yeah. You went from metal to having be able to kick my feet up when I want to, to yeah. just you know sitting in a, uh, special. a chair. Yeah, right. very special. So, so when you're finished playing football, you might have a, a second career in radio. I like the way. You you bring it. This is Wayne Viner, that's Bruce Poser, that's Kenny Bennett, and remember to catch Turp Talk on 1300 CBS Sports Radio in Baltimore, brought to you by Coons Ford. Bruce? Kenny, have a great season, okay? It's a great talking to you.